Greetings everyone and welcome to another Warhammer 40k lore video from the Space Marine Forces Department. In today's episode we are not covering any kind of Adeptus Astartes squad, but instead we're gonna talk about those who save lives and not those who take them. Today we are indeed going to learn a bit more about the chapter Apothecaries. I am your host, the Grim Dark Narrator, and without further ado, let us get into these superhuman battle medics, shall we? An apothecary is a specialist space marine officer, who possesses advanced biomedical and scientific training, and who serves as a combat medic and research physician for his chapter. An apothecary's role in battle is to recover the gene seed from slain Astartes and to take care of the wounded. Outside of combat, apothecaries are responsible for monitoring the chapter's neophytes for mutation or flaws in the gene seed and for carrying out the organ implantation process in the chapter's aspirants. The apothecary is well versed in the arts of battlefield first aid, as well as advanced surgical techniques, cybernetics, and bioengineering. An apothecary is even more daring and courageous than his fellow space marines because he must perform life-saving surgeries in the middle of the battlefield. If a space marine is injured, the apothecary will use his medipack, called the narfesium, to tend to the wounds. Even severely injured space marines can fight again, with the aid of the apothecary's tools and skills. Space marine apothecaries are charged with maintaining the bodily health of their battle brothers, whether this is monitoring their genetically engineered implants or administering emergency medical care. Only the bravest of warriors are chosen for this honored duty, and each must look first and foremost to the health of his companions, and consider his own life as secondary. Apothecaries are at once mighty warriors and selfless servants, and each would fight their way through a horde of enemies to reach even a single fallen battle brother and then transfuse the very last drop of his blood to save his life. Along with being highly trained in the fields of medicine, surgery, and medical research, they are among the elite warriors in a chapter. Apothecaries are greatly honored within their chapter, as they are responsible for maintaining the purity of the gene seed. If the chapter's gene seed were to become mutated or corrupt, this could well bring the extinction of the chapter, or worse, cause it to become tainted by chaos. The apothecaries are also charged with maintaining the health and genetic purity of the space marines themselves. Their skills and equipment, when combined with the genetically engineered organs and biological resilience of a space marine, allow an apothecary to perform battle surgery with a great chance of success. Not all wounded space marines, however, can be saved. Some are even beyond the apothecary's mighty skills. In this case, it is the apothecary's responsibility to administer what is called the Emperor's Peace, to those warriors who have earned its release. This is basically just fancy words for mercy killing them. The apothecary's medipack, or narfesium, includes a special humane euthanasia device for this task, called a carnifex, that is a solid, spring-loaded piston of metal. This is applied to the sufferer's temple, its powerful spring hurling the piston through the Astartes' brain and killing them instantly. It is also the apothecary's duty to harvest from the bodies of fallen space marines the two implanted progenoid glands, allowing for the gene seed material to be cultivated from these organs and replanted in a neophyte. Space marines rarely go into battle without an apothecary being available, as every single Astartes is a valuable resource and to lose any of their gene seed would be a blow to the chapter. Each company in a chapter has an attached apothecary that accompanies them into battle. Additional apothecaries can be found in the chapter's apothecarian, although these senior apothecaries rarely take to the field, instead acting as biomedical researchers and occupying themselves with training the neophytes and potential new apothecaries. 
It is partly unknown if new apothecaries start out as regular space marines who rise through the ranks, or begin their careers from the start as a medic, just like space marine psychers get trained as librarians. The insignia of the apothecaries is the prime helix, a badge that symbolizes the space marine's altered DNA, which ultimately derives from the emperor of mankind's own genome. This is rendered in bright red. The symbol represents the sacred genetic code of the chapter's gene seed. The helix symbol is often adorned with additional iconography, such as wings or skulls. The apothecaries of most chapters are defined by their white power armor, with the left shoulder plate retaining the traditional chapter colors and chapter badge. The right shoulder plate always displays the prime helix. A few less traditional chapters use different color schemes for their apothecaries. Next, I would like to give a few details about two of the most known variants of apothecary, namely the Sanguinary Priests and the Wolf Priests. A Sanguinary Priest is a specialist officer unique to the Blood Angels Space Marine chapter and their successors. The Sanguinary Priest performs the duties of an apothecary in a Codex Astartes compliant chapter, as well as other services peculiar to the inheritance of the Primarch Sanguinius. While the apothecaries of other chapters monitor their charges for genetic purity and provide all needed biomedical services, the duties of the Sanguinary Priests transcend this mundane medical need. Some scions of Sanguinius are driven by a terrible death-seeking madness called the Black Rage, brought on by visions of the death of their Primarch when he confronted the War Master Horus during the closing days of the Horus Heresy. Others are afflicted by the terrible Red First, a craving for blood, which some claim may be the first signs of the corruption of chaos. The Sanguinary Priests tend to the Space Marines afflicted by these genetic curses. They are also responsible for inducting all aspirants into the chapter as neophytes, as well as overseeing their implantation with gene seed and Astartes organs. The Wolf Priest is a specialist officer unique to the Space Wolves chapter. A hybrid of chaplain and apothecary roles found in Codex-compliant chapters, the Wolf Priests administer to both physical and mental well-being of the chapter's warriors and also choose the aspirants to the chapter from among the feral barbarian tribes of Fenris. These dour warriors combine the attributes of both combat medics, trained in the arts of healing and the lore of genetics, and tribal shamans, heavy with the accumulated wisdom of the ages. The wolf priests answer to no one except the chapter master of the Space Wolves, the Great Wolf himself. And finally, I will talk a bit about the gear of the apothecaries, which, as you will see, is quite different from most Battle Brothers, regardless of their squad type. They, of course, wear power armor, and as weapons, they favor chainswords and bolt pistols, and they can also use frag and crack grenades. But there is where the similarities kinda end. Apothecaries often replace their usual helmet with a Diagnoster helmet, which contains upgraded autosenses and readouts to assist with their charge of treating the injured and maintaining their battle brother's physical combat readiness. All of them also use the Narfesium, which is the Apothecary's medical field kit, which contains the necessary tools to treat wounded space marines and get them back into action as quickly as possible. Included in this kit are anti-venoms, stim packs, healing agents, sterile clay for sealing wounds, a carnifex for euthanizing fatally injured marines, a reductor, which is the tool for extracting the progenoid organs from fallen space marines. Other components may include a chain blade and an apothecarian drill for piercing armor, there's also a deep bore version, which lowers the placement of the chain blade and replaces it with a saw disc. The main focus of this tool 
is to pierce armor and retrieve Jean Seed as quickly as possible in the middle of battle. The Hagen pattern drill is larger and stronger, designed to be able to work on Terminator armor as well as regular power armor. A couple of more unique tools are the Acus Placidus, which is a specialized wrist-mounted reductor pistol used by the Sanguinary Priests, and the Exsanguinator, which is another specialized reductor which doubles as a weapon, also carried by the Sanguinary Priests. And there's also the Fang of Morkai, which is another specialized reductor carried by the Wolf Priests of the Space Wolves. And this is what I had to say on Space Marine Apothecaries for today. I will be making one more video on them, where I will talk about a few members of their trade. Would you like to be an apothecary in a Space Marine chapter? Mind you that your task would not be to slay the enemies of the Emperor, but to save the lives of your battle brothers. Apart from that, if you have any lore questions, or thoughts or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, and if you'd like to see more lore videos like this one, please subscribe to my channel. And, if you'd like to make a more meaningful contribution to the channel, there's a link to my Patreon page at the top of the video description, where even one dollar a month can make a difference. I thank you very much for watching, and wish you an awesome day. And always remember, the Emperor protects.